back again. We were talking about messenger RNA uh, and how in a lab when you're making a messenger RNA vaccine you are synthetically making a piece of the virus's messenger RNA. It is not a piece of the virus that goes into the vaccine. It's not any part of a live virus. No part of COVID-19 vac uh, the COVID-19 virus goes into the va vaccine. That's important because live viruses can cause side effects. And this is not a live virus. I don't know how they did it, but 30 years of experience, they were able to take the messenger RNA of the COVID-19 virus that allows for the production of its spike protein and replicate it or synthetically produce it, reproduce it in the lab, put it into vaccines. Those vaccines are about to arrive in, arrive in the country, both made by Moderna and Pfizer. And when you get the vaccine, which we're all have, going to have an opportunity to get very soon, as a matter of fact, goes into, I like to immunize people in the left deltoid. Okay, so goes into the left deltoid. And the vaccine circulates locally and is exposed to your bloodstream. So that messenger RNA is now circulating around, synthetic messenger RNA is now circulating around in your bloodstream. And it triggers your immune system. Your, your immune system says, hey, that, that particle does not belong here. We don't recognize that as a part of our body. It's not a natural thing. So in case it's going to do harm, which in this case it wouldn't have done harm if it stayed there, in case it's going to do harm, let's go after it with antibodies. And so your body produces these structures that go after, they're designed, they're made to specifically go after a spike protein. You see the site spike protein, the immune system responds locally, that's why you get some fever, or get heat, and maybe some sweatness and sweat, um, some redness and swelling at the site of the injection, and the body immediately starts to produce these amazing antibodies. And what the antibodies do is they kill the vaccine or they kill the virus before the virus gets into your cell. Beautiful stuff. Now you've just seen a spike protein synthetically produced when it went into your arm through a vaccine. Your body's just seen it. It decides it's not, it shouldn't be there, it wants to protect. So it produces antibodies that go right after any spike protein that's circling in the system. Great, but there's no spike protein anymore because you've gobbled it up, your immune system has gotten rid of it. And so the antibodies are kind of useless. They can just sit around and they wait. And so the body actually stores these antibodies in your body so that just in case you get clo too close to somebody with COVID-19 and they cough on you and the virus goes into your upper air airway to the back of your throat, your nasopharynx, it will try to get to cells to infect those cells so it can replicate itself, but it can't do it because your body is immediately signaled that it's now seeing these spike proteins again and it goes on charge and goes after those viruses and gobbles them up, kills them before they can get into your cell. Voila, 95% effective. People who get the vaccine, who see COVID-19, 95% of cases, there'll be no infection at all. And with the other 5%, what we're seeing is that they might get a mild COVID infection that gets attacked when the infection's just in the upper respiratory tract, but the infection doesn't have a chance to get down into the lungs. So I hope that explains it. This is all in reverse here. If anybody can tell me how to make a whiteboard YouTube video so that you can see the words that aren't in reverse, that would be great. I'm a newbie, but there you go, a second YouTube video on MNRA vaccines, mRNA vaccines. Have a good night.